สบายดีสบายดีทุกคน Hi everyone welcome back to my channel In this video I would love to share with you guys how I make my curry crab fried rice For the ingredient I got some shrimp I'm using a jumbo shrimps I got some purple rice I'm gonna be using purple rice for this um, video guy is my um, red or purple rice that you call I'm gonna be using this one you can use the regular fried rice you can use um, brown rice it's up to you guys and I got some yellow curry powder here this is the curry powder guy I'm making the curry rice shrimp fried rice and for the seasoning, I got some oyster sauce, oyster sauce, some um, olive oil. This is my olive oil. I got some fish sauce. Can we really see? I'm sorry, it's too big. I got my light soy sauce. Some black soy sauce. Did I say oyster sauce yet? I forgot. This is my oyster sauce. Oh, by the way, I'm using a good olive oil. Some fresh garlic, guy. I just I'm gonna put a little bit of brown sugar, just a little bit. I I got some eggs. I'm using three eggs. This is my egg, guy can see three eggs three whole eggs by the way I got some uh, carrots chopped small pieces carrots I am gonna be using carrots because I want it to be a little colorful just keep extra color on my fried rice and of course I'm gonna be using my green onions, chopped green onions. And for the garnish, I got some green leaves. It's Asian green leaf called uh, in God, I forgot the name in, in Laos. Anyway, I will remember in just a minute. And also my um, toma sliced tomatoes for my garnish. It's not poo. Excuse me, guys. I forgot the name. <laughs> it's uh, my Lao green leaf that that we use for any kind of wrap, fish wrap. By Elert, I remember now. It's called by Elert. It's got very nice smell, guy. I'm just gonna use this for my gar garnish after I prepare the fried rice. So this is my uh, purple rice curry powders so I got all ingredients right here guys so if you guys want to learn how I make my curry shrimp fried rice please keep watching and I will show you how you can use crab meat you can use chicken you can use any kind of meat that you like especially crab meat is so good for the next time I'm I'm gonna be using crab meat so for in this video I'm I'm gonna do with shrimp so I'm gonna be using a purple rice shrimp in my curry curry uh, shrimp fried rice. I'm almost a crab fried rice. But anyway, guys, I hope that you guys enjoy watching my video. If you guys do, please don't forget to give me a thumb up, subscribe, like, and share to my channel. And also, don't forget to ring the bell so you won't miss any of my new coming up video. Let me go ahead and show you how I prepare all this together and if you guys want to learn how to make it's very easy I will show you right now let's get into the video guys let's cooking hey guys right now I'm heating up my pan about I'm gonna be using about medium 
good olive oil. Not too much, just a little bit more. After that, I will be waiting for the pan to heat up a little bit before I'm adding my garlic. This is my garlic I'm going to be adding in just a second. Here in the garlic, guys. It's going to smell the whole kitchen. Then you're going to cook the garlic until it turns golden brown. Oh my goodness, I can smell the, the garlic cooking along with good olive oil. Okay. And now my garlic is good to go. It's a little brown, nice color. I'm going to go ahead and add my shrimp. This is about 10-11 uh, shrimp, jumbo shrimp. I'm going to be using for my dish today. The good thing about shrimp is it doesn't take long to cook at all. Now, that's basket. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna use the other one. Mm. The shrimp are cooked, and then we're gonna add and scoop. You can sweep everything easier, but the, the, the wood one is very nice to stir fry around the, the pan, but it's too thick. <laughs> I'm using both back and forth between the other two. I love using it. Mmm, y'all. My kitchen smells so nice right now. And my turn are cooking. I'm just turning my turn a little bit so it cooks perfectly both sides. I'm gonna use the lid to cover my trim so it so the trim cook faster. Then good, looking nice, everything. Cooked. You don't want to overcook your trim, guy. If you overcook your trim, it's not gonna taste good and it's gonna be too small. In today's video, I'm using jumbo trim. So now my trim is almost one hundred percent. Cook. I'm gonna go ahead and add my egg because, because you have to cook the egg first before you add in the rice and the seasoning. So make sure I use scramble the egg. Very nice. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit more so I can get some nice brown color y'all. But you don't want to burn your egg. You don't want to burn everything, right? <laughs> you just kind of scramble it. It's so easy, guys. Anytime you're cooking the fire, right, you always have to cook the egg first. Make sure that you scramble the egg first. Scramble the egg, cook your meat and everything before you add in the rice in the fire, right? You can make a big chunk of egg, you can make a small chunk, it's up to you. Now my purple rice. This is purple rice that I already cooked, I steamed last night, so it's good to go. You can use bar rice, you can use jasmine rice. It's, it's all your preference, guys. Now I'm using the wood spatulas because it's more heavy than the other one and I'm able to pass it down my, my rice while I'm cooking, mix everything together. But if you have the deeper pan than mine, it's even better. My pan is not deep enough, but it's perfect to cook the fry still. I really love, love, love this pan, y'all. I bought this pan from Best Bath and Neon, and it's non-stick pan from 
Cute smart brand. I love, love it. Okay. I'm gonna wrap everything cooking the, the seasoning. It's just to cook everything faster, make everything come by, all the flavor come by very nice together and and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning in into the fire rice in just a few seconds. I think my fire rice is good to mix seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and add the curry powder first. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some of my yellow curry powder. This is curry powder, guys. Don't use too much unless you like it a lot. Just a little bit to give it a light, nice color. About I think this is a teaspoon. I'm using three, three, three spoon. <laughs> mm. But if you feel like you need more color, you can go ahead and add more curry powder. You always can adjust. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning, all my seasoning. This is oyster sauce. I need a lot of oyster sauce in my cooking. A little fish sauce, not too much. I don't want it to be too salty. This is my Mackey light soy sauce. And of course, I'm gonna be using my black soy sauce just to give it more nice brown color. And also, black soy sauce got sweetness taste, which is I love, love, love. But I'm gonna be adding just a little bit, like teaspoon of sugar. Some people doesn't like to add sugar. That's fine. It's up to you. For me, it's all good. I'm going to mix everything together. Mm -hmm. So good, y'all. I cannot. I don't really know how to check guy. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more curly powder. I want to experiment. I'm using the purple rice. If I using the regular jasmine rice, it would be a little bit more of the curry powder with gold. I think it's okay because of the dark color from the rice and the yellow curry powder that I got. Mm. Yum. I'm adding my carrots. Oh, I'm gonna use it all in there. Mm. Ooh, wow. The carrot, the orange color from the from my carrot adds so much color into my fire right now. Nice, very nice. See anybody can make guy so easy. You can use any kind of rice that you want, that you like. It's all up to you. And when you're using the non-stick pan, it's so easy. I'm gonna go ahead and add my green onion.
if, it, if my pan is deeper than this, I'm able to sweep, no problem. But it, it's not deep enough to check like I did now. ตะลิวซองอ่ะเลยทุกคนเพราะว่าอันอันนั้นพลาสติกมันอ่อนอันนี้มันแข็งอ่ะนะอันนี้มันแข็งไงเวลาเวลาเมกเกิ้ลคุ
where I work actually from from where I work I learned this technique and this is how we serve at where I work at a Thai restaurant and then you just rip it up how it looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and use my garnish I do you see good it's gonna be nice look at it does this look nice or what it's so beautiful at the same time it's it's red or purple because i'm using purple rice you can use jasmine rice the regular jasmine rice and then it's probably going to turn yellow because you're using yellow curry powder but this is my uh this is my curry shrimp fried rice from my kitchen to your i hope that you guys enjoy watching it thumbnail If you guys do, don't forget to give me a thumb up, subscribe, like, and share to my channel. It would be all for today, y'all. Thank you all so much again. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. It's so nice outside right now. It's probably four o'clock, but it's beautiful day. It's, it's very nice, it's October. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your the rest of your day and thank you so much for watching my channel it would be all for today i will see you guys on my next video thank you so much bye bye